What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and today uh, we're going to go over the market, show you guys what to buy, what to sell. Uh, as per usual, drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you're new for a chance of winning 10k MT. Um, and yeah, guys, as you know, new content is dropped, and these new packs are super hard to like. These cards to, like are so hard to get. Um, you really need to pop packs if you don't got a lot of MT, cause to do the spotlight challenge, bro, you need 300k, like 240k for LeBron, 100k for him. That's 340. We need Tracy for 100. Those are the main cards in the set. We need, do we need a like 500k MT to get the spotlight challenges? It's a lot. So honestly, is it worth popping these packs? Yeah, but honestly, at the same time, it's not. Just because if you pop packs, like the chances are so so low. You pull anything. I'm not even kidding. I saw. Carlos Story pulled like $100 worth and he pulled, he didn't pull LeBron, he pulled Rolando, I think. Actually, no, he didn't even pull Rolando, he pulled T-Mac, that's it. He didn't pull anything at $100 and he's usually the pack god, so. Honestly, are these packs worth popping? Not really. Honestly, to spend that much money, maybe if there's a VC sale, maybe, but 2K packs have been so trash. Like, I've been pulling them forever every year and they're just always terrible like i have one amethyst pull and so many mt pulls don't even ask like they're just terrible but anyways let's get into the auction so right now um you guys should have picked up a ton of cards yesterday i didn't really get the chance to i'm gonna try to do that today but uh, let's check out on the amethyst 20s and as you can see they are pretty cheap and i know for a fact that Giannis is even cheaper so it's not a bad time to pick up cards still, even though today is Saturday. Uh, let's go over Anthony Davis. Let's go over all the amethysts I've been talking about. Uh, Anthony Davis, I believe, is under 35K. Let's see. 36, 35. All right. So his price actually isn't that cheap. Honestly, he was a lot cheaper yesterday. Which is annoying. You, if you guys probably, you guys probably should have picked him up for like 30k yesterday, which is a big dub. Um, let's check out the set in general. Let's check out how much uh, all these players are, like the Rolando Blackman. Let me just tell you, I'm gonna give you like an overview, pretty much, of the market and what you guys should do. Wow, Rolando Pink Diamond is under 100k. What that means is pretty much 2k dropped. The Diamond LeBron. I think they made the Amethyst Tracy and the Diamond LeBron harder to pull. I'm not even kidding. Like, Tracy is literally has no buy. All right. What is a 100K buyout? Okay. So the Rolando's like 80K. The Tracy's 90, which isn't bad. How much is the LeBron? Because the dude is set. It's going to cost that much, which is. Let's see. How much is LeBron? 280. Oh my goodness. This LeBron is 300K. So, let me go over this content. So, oh my God. So, if it's 300K, why is the diamond more than the pink diamond? That literally means they released a diamond that's way more valuable than a pink diamond card. Not only that, there's not even a lot on the auction. Oh my god, 2k, man. I just, I'm confused at this point. So, yeah, it's LeBron James, but if the pink diamond is 90 or 80k and LeBron's that much, it pretty much just means that they drop these packs with a harder chance to pull an amethyst and a diamond, which gets me confused because then uh, if you pull the pink diamond, it's not that much of a profit. You want to pull the Tracy or LeBron, and they're lower tiers. So for the first time in maybe 2K history, you want to pull the LeBron or T-Mac over the Rolando because it looks like Rolando is going to go for like 60K sooner or later. But I don't know. Is it worth buying, doing the spotlight challenges? I mean, if you get LeBron for like 280 and you sell him, you could sell for like 250. You could lose like 50k on the LeBron. So, 
To be honest, right now, would I buy LeBron James for 280? No, I wouldn't. That's not a good investment. Um, I don't know, guys. It's up to you. These spotlight challenges are definitely worth doing if you get the Sean Marion because he's a beast. But to do this set, you need 500k minimum, I would say. 500k is a lot of MT. Personally, if you don't have 500k MT, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to do the spotlight challenges. All the other spotlights aren't that bad. They're like 200 to 300, but this one's 500k. Like, I don't know. That's a lot. Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, anyways, let's get into more market. Amethyst NBA 20. Uh, let's check out Giannis's price. I told you guys to get him for under 40k. If you did, you're dubbing because he's going to go up in price. Let's check his price now. Hopefully, we can snag one. And honestly, bro, the market has rose a lot, bro. The market went up a ton since yesterday, which is pretty good news, not going to lie. Uh, let's check out Curry. So, it looks like the market crashed and it went up fast. So, if you guys picked up cards, you're in good hands. I'm going to try to pick up a Curry. Oh, my goodness. So, market rose quickly. Not a bad time to sell. I'm not even kidding. It's really not. If you took dubs yesterday, um, not a bad time to sell. These players made the market crash a ton, but then they went back up. Let's see. We got new content in a day. So, it looks like they're going to drop content on a Tuesday or Monday. We'll see. It looks like they're going to drop it on a, a Monday. So, we could have new content Monday. These cards are a packs. You could pick them up. Because if you pick them up, you could possibly make a ton of MT. I would try to pick up this Antonio Davis. Maybe try to evolve him. And uh, Jamal Moshburn. Not a bad idea. Big is... Dude, this, this set's not expensive. But honestly, over time, when these cards get cheap, you want to try to pick them up. Because if you pick these cards up, they're going to go up in value. These cards are hard to pull. There's three cards in the set. The Rolando, the LeBron, and the T-Mac that are worth a lot of MT. Meaning... If they stay that expensive and they drop, they're going to go up a lot. It looks like since there's so many high-tier cars that they all have value, it's going to be hard for them to all drop at the same time. So if you hold on to these cards after they're out of packs, they're going to make a lot of MT. But anyways, I don't know. What's your opinion on this set? I really think that 300k for this Dyer LeBron is too much. But then again, is, is it too much? It is because if you don't get it for the right bid and you do the sets, you take a giant L. So, like, I'm, gonna, I'm totally confused on what 2K is trying to pull off here. They make, if they made a diamond more valuable, how are you going to, I don't know. Not only is it more valuable, it's 200K more than a pink diamond. Does that make any sense to you guys if a diamond is 200K more than a pink diamond? I don't know. It makes no sense. 2K up the odds of the diamond. They want you to pull a pink diamond. I don't know, dude. How? What are the odds? Like, why don't they have pack odds? Like, imagine they show you your percentages of pulling cards. In this, they show you no percentages. So, like, how fraudulent is this? Like, straight up. They have an amethyst that's worth more than a pink diamond as well. What are the odds, 2K? They usually show us odds. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really confused. I'm super confused. Let's go over Rolando's price one more time. So pretty much, bro. Market right now, overview. I would say you could go ahead and sell your cards. But are these spotlight challenges worth doing? To be honest, yeah. But no, at the same time. Like, you have a chance. It's honestly high risk, high reward of this situation, bro. Like, there's a very high risk of you losing a ton of MT for buying LeBron right now. And not only that. It's, I don't know. It's up to, I don't know. Do you guys like, like, that? it's up to you. It's, like, you could do this set, but you also have to realize that, do you like Sean Mary's jump shot? And do you think Dirk is worth doing? Like, do you really want to lose, like, 50K for Sean Mary? Because you're going to lose MT, unless you somehow get LeBron for cheaper. But with LeBron, his price could drop 40K out of nowhere, and you'll lose 40K plus the reduction, which is 60K. Like, Bidding for that high is always interesting because you could lose a lot of empty or you could even just go even. Like if you get it for 260 and sell for 280, you still lose empty. So honestly, 
Overall review, it's not a bad idea to get the pick diamond Sean Mary and try to get the Magic Johnson, but it is going to cost some MT, just so you guys know. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay out for the videos later. Peace.